Well, hey guys, and welcome to Top 5 Best Upcoming Games of 2013. Make sure you subscribe to HughesyBoy24 and follow me on Twitter at Dan underscore Hughes98. And at number 5, we have Tomb Raider. You might say, why is Tomb Raider in there? You might have played the first Tomb Raider, and let's say it was crap. But they say that they've improved the game, and I believe them. So if you don't know what Tomb Raider is, it's basically an intense and gritty story of the origins of Lara Croft and her, um, and her accent from frightened young woman to a hardened survivor, armed with only raw instincts and physical abilities to push beyond the limits of human endurance. The best thing about the game that they say, it's the superb physics-based gameplay, it's paired with a heart-pounding narrative in Laura's, in Lara's most personal character, defining adventure to date. If you're finding me speaking quite unusual, that's because I'm reading it from an article. If I'm fine, if you're probably thinking I'm a bit nerdy, that's because I'm reading it off an article. Okay. Okay. Um, number four, it's Gears of War Judgment. Gears of War Judgment. There's loads of Gears of War. Gears of War one, two, and three. Um, and basically, it takes you back before the events of the original Gears of War trilogy to the immediate aftermath of Mergent's Day, the defining event of the Gears of War universe. It's got brilliant graphics, nice storyline to it. It's got great weapons, as you see there, blowing up people. Um, not saying it's fun, but blowing up aliens is. And it has a uh, new class-based competitive mode that will pit Locus and COG soldiers in a head-to-head -head battle unlike any other Gear fan have experienced yet. Well, anyway, we are on to uh, number three on our upcoming best 2013 games. And at number three, it is God of War. As you see there, it's a fighting game. If you've never played God of War, you should. It's a brilliant game. Action-packed, adventurous game. It's got a nice storyline to it. See there, look at the graphics there. Basically, God of War is a warrior. You can tell by the uh, title of the word war. And he's the best warrior because it says he's gods. And this is God of War Ascensions. There's, there's like loads of God of Wars, God of War 1, 2, 3. And uh, it's amazing. And that was God of War Ascensions. It has a eight player multiplayer battles, so it's got an online feature. So at number two, it's Sim City. I had to add a PC game because PCs apparently are awesome, and they are. And Sim City looks absolutely amazing. This is um Sim City, and it's just amazing game. It's, uh, basically, you just build your own. It's a simulation where you build your own town and then it goes to city and maybe even a country. And look at the graphics and everything. Look at the detail. Look, it's just amazing. I love these kind of games. And for me, this is probably the best PC game out there. So uh, this is seconds in my charts, and I think you'll probably guess what number one is. And at number one. It is. Let's have the drum roll. No, we won't. Anyway, at number one, it's GTA 5. I think many people knew that was going to come up. GTA 5, it's it, they say it's going to be the best one that they have ever made. They could put everything together. The maps are going to be very, very big. This comes out um, in April or March, in springtime. Look at the graphics, look at the buildings, look at the maps. It's got a nice storyline again to it. It's also got online modes. And the fun part is basically making crimes. I'm not saying it, that's good, you know. But anyway, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I hope you enjoy this and give it a like.